Hello everyone, in this tutorial what I'll be covering is PHP if statements and PHP if statements are very similar to if statements in other programming languages. Anytime you have a decision that needs to be made, more than likely you will be using an if statement. If you are unfamiliar with if statements, think about it this way. Say you wanted to create a website that contained content that only users older than 13 could view. So what you are really saying is if the person visiting my website is not older than 13, then do not let them view my content. Using PHP if statements will give you this possibility. However, this is a little bit more on the intermediate side to PHP programming. But in this tutorial, I will give you a example of a basic if statement. So here are the main parts to an if statement. And I'm going to write this in a comment block because I'm going to write this using the incorrect syntax. So first we have the word if, and then we have an open parentheses, and then we have a condition in between these parentheses. So I'm going to just write in here, this condition is true. And then after that, we're going to have an open curly brace. And then we're going to say, if this condition is true, let me space that out. If this condition is true, then let me just write in comments, then do this, execute this code in here. And then I'm going to end it with a closing curly brace. So again, what I'm saying here is if this condition is true, whatever is in here, if it evaluates to true, they go ahead and execute what's in between these two curly braces. So let me go ahead and just give you an example here. And I'm going to call this example one. All right. So let's say we have a variable called user age and we assign to it the numerical value 10. And beside it, we write contains the person's age. And then I have another variable called valid age and we assign to it the numerical value 18 beside that we say the valid age to display content now i'm going to start my if statement again i'm going to write the word if then i'm going to open my parentheses and i'm going to say user age is less than valid age close my parentheses open my curly brace and then on the next line i'm going to write echo you are not old enough to view this content. And I'm going to put a line break just to make it easier to read. And then I'm going to close my curly brace. So next, I'm going to write echo. Welcome to the PHP basics and put another line break. All right, so let's go back here and see what's going on. So first we have this if we say if this condition is true. If this is true, then go ahead and execute this code in between these curly braces. And you can have more than just one line. We could have several lines in here if we needed to. But just to make things simpler, I'm just using a simple echo stream. So again, if user age, which is 10, if 10 is less than valid age, which is 18, go ahead and say you are not old enough to view this content. So this does evaluate to true because 10 is less than 18. So if I go ahead and save this in my browser, if statements.php, go over to my browser, I'm gonna type in localhost, the PHP basics, and I'm gonna hit enter. And as you can see, it says, you are not old enough to view this content as well as welcome to the PHP basics. So, since welcome to the PHP, the PHP basics isn't a part of this if statement, it's going to be executed no matter what. It doesn't care about what the condition of this if statement is since it's not inside the curly braces of the if statement. So let me give you another example here. And I'm going to call this example two. Let's say, for example, we have a variable called username and it contains the string Robert. And I'm going to say contains the person's name. All right. And then I'm going to say if open my curly brace and I'm going to say username is equal to remember this from our previous tutorial is equal to the string Robert. 
close my parentheses, open my curly brace, go to the next line, and you don't have to go to the next line, it just makes it easier to read. So in a way, I'm gonna say echo hello username. And put another line break and with a semicolon, close my curly brace. That's all I wanna do for that if statement. So again, evaluating here, we have the variable Robert, it contains a string Robert. And then we have this if statement, we say if username is equal to Robert, which it is, same string here, go ahead and execute this code here. So if I save this, refresh my browser, as you can see, it says, hello, Robert. Now let's say for example, I change this. Let's make this false. We say Robert2 is assigned to the variable username. Since Robert2 is not equal to the string Robert, this should not be executed because remember what I said, the if statement only executes this code in between the curly braces only if this condition here is true, only if it evaluates to true. So if I save this, and load it into my browser, this hello Robert should go away. So if I hit refresh, as you can see, it goes away. So that does conclude this tutorial and hopefully now you have a basic understanding about PHP if statements. And it is worth mentioning that PHP if statements give you powerful tools that you just cannot accomplish with plain HTML code. So be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to make sure you have a decent understanding about how PHP if statements work. And I'll see you in the next video.